Dave, great meeting you tonight. I just wanted to go over the scope of work with you uh, for your house. On the front of the house, you've got a lot of uh, fascia overlay that we'll be doing along. Our, we'll make all our necessary repairs on the um, two by fascia, um, and then we will uh, uh, go up with the uh, fascia overlay. And in the areas that you have this drip board, we will butt up to the one by on the drip board. Um, so on the drip edge, I'm sorry. And so we will butt the hardy plank right up to it. And we will need to remove this gutter to do the fascia overlay in the area, but this kind of stretch right here we can remove and then reinstall after we're done. All the uh, soffit after making necessary repairs, like, like over here in this corner, and um, and uh, up in here and all the soffit areas and porch ceilings will all be painted with the um, with the 25 year warranty PPG paint. So here on the right side of the house, we've got more hardy um, plank to install. But first, of course, we'll be tearing off all the siding on the chimney, all the siding on the wall, getting down to the studs and insulation, uh, putting up 716s OSB. Then uh, our Tyvek moisture barrier going up with the trim first and then doing the butt-to application on the siding. And um, on the reveals of the siding, we could probably go, a great look might be that 7-inch profile. So it has an 8 and a quarter board covering up an inch and a quarter with a 7-inch reveal on each lap. Here in the back of the house, same scope of work. Of course, uh, fascia overlay and um, soffit uh, painting. And then we've got um, tear off on all the siding, 716 OSB. We'll check all your insulation. We'll supply up the two rolls of insulation if we need to spot fill some uh, R13. And then we will be going up with uh, the 716 OSB, then the moisture barrier, and then the uh, hardy trim and hardy siding. So here on the left side of the house, we've got more siding. The big square of siding and in this area we will be removing this box off the wall replacing our siding behind it as well as the other these other junction boxes too and then re reinstalling them and coating them either way you go if you go color plus or if you go the primed we'll be able to uh, uh, coat these boxes to color coordinate with the uh, with the color of the siding that you choose uh, one thing I forgot to mention to you that anywhere we have uh, brick that touches the hardy plank. This is one thing that we do exclusively. We mortar the um, hardy siding into the brick. We have two mortar guys on staff and they're going to go anywhere that the hardy siding touches the masonry product. We can mortar it in and it looks better instead of uh, smearing a sealant or a caulking on the brick. So thank you again for letting me meet with you tonight and uh, I'm very sorry about um, missing the uh, phone call you having left the message on the answering machine at the office uh, but uh, I hope that doesn't reflect on the precedence that we'll set once we start the job uh, we'll do a great job for you and we'll bend over backwards to uh, make you happy on this project and uh, I, I really think it's gonna it's gonna look uh, extraordinary with the hardy fascia and the um, hardy siding so thank you again